Hey everybody, the video you're about to watch was sponsored by our friends at iFixit. We'll tell you more about them and their special offer later in the video, but for right now, let's just get into it. Hey guys, uh, Adam Savage here in my cave with uh, a fun, I'll be honest with you, I was doing some woodworking this morning and I was planning to try cutting some dovetails today because I am making a new pistol case for some Hamilton pistols I have. And then this arrived in the mail. This is a four jaw chuck uh, built for my, um, well, I bought it for my watchmaker's lathe because the four jaw chuck is a super clutch and critical item in a, in a lathe. In fact, actually, uh, I was watching Cronova Engineering, which is a lovely YouTube channel I've been watching a lot of lately. Um, and in Cronova Engineering, uh, he at one point in one video says, the four jaw chuck is the only super accurate chuck within the lathe system and all the other chucks and work holding solutions are compromises between accuracy and ease of use. And what he means is you can get the highest level of concentricity using a four jaw chuck or turning between centers uh, and everything else will give you slightly less concentricity. And so among the things that I had collected for my uh, eight millimeter watchmaker's lathe, uh, this was still outstanding, a four jaw chuck. And I picked up this one. It is really lovely. I'm really happy with it. It has the wrong size. It's got a 10 millimeter. Yeah, it's got a 10 millimeter shaft, I think, on this rather than an eight millimeter. And I've got an eight millimeter that I think I can swap out in here with an interference fit, but we will see. Um, and I, I have no chuck key for this. It needs a chuck key to operate the, the four pieces here. Um, <laughs> this and this same thing, same thing. Why is the four jaw chuck the most accurate of the chucks? <clears throat> specifically because you have independent control over all four jaws, which means as you clamp something in it, you can, to an incredibly micro degree, for someone who is good at this, less than a 10,000th of an inch, you can dial in a four jaw chuck to, you know, a couple of microns um, because of that independent control. J uh, Chucks that have all the jaws controlled by a single key are called self-centering chucks. And self-centering is a ever so slightly misnomer. They center ish. And ish is really a moving target. For movies, for like movie props, totally concentric. For machining mechanical things, plus or minus a couple of thou is, can really get you into trouble. Uh, so... Uh, the four jaw chuck, and it's time consuming. It's time consuming and it takes institutional knowledge to know how to, to dial one of these puppies in. Um, I have gotten better at it over the years. Uh, I, there are lathe, there are turners and lathe experts who only ever use these and they make them, they use them so fast. They make it look trivial. Tom Lipton. I mean, it's crazy watching him go on that. Uh, so I'm going to, make this useful to me uh, on my machine. So we're just gonna take it apart, we're gonna clean some pieces, we're gonna put it back together and we're gonna make a chuck key all today.
Oh my God. Second try. Wait, let's see if 318 does it. Yep. Okay. That's it. 318. Okay, so. Okay, so I have made a little post that is gonna go in my receiver here. That's a press fit. I'm gonna use a little Loctite and we'll get that going. So we'll get a little Loctite in here. Great. And then Yes, excellent. That seems nice, it seems nice and concentric. I like that. Okay, so pop this out. Oh, I see. Right, right, right. I messed up there. Right. Oops. Oi. Southern skies, the night he met her, she was married to someone. Do, 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 do. He was doggedly determined that he would get her.
All right, so now I've made a standoff. It's not the press fit I wanted, but it's within a thou. So I am actually going to go in here and uh, peen that. Peen it. Okay, uh, I have tackled what I think is the more difficult of the two operations, which is I, I modified this eight millimeter uh, bore to have a press fit to a plug that went into here, which I then peened all the way around. Is a really nice fit. It is less than a thousandth of uh, run out here. It's really great. Um, Next up would be to attach this back to this and chuck it into the jeweler's lathe, but I want to clean this up first. So uh, that will necessitate the next step, which is making the little Chucky, 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 Chucky's in love. Don't know your Ricky Lee Jones? Go look up Ricky Lee Jones right now. Perhaps the love song, We Belong Together, which I heard at a party in Manhattan. The week that album came out, I was at a party and someone put that song on, We Belong Together by Ricky Lee Jones. And uh, <clears throat> I left that party, walked four blocks over to Tower Records, bought that album. It really moved me. Ricky Lee Jones is the shit. Um, so it's time to make a little Chucky, Chucky. It's time to make a Chucky. Uh, I'm going to use I think I'm going to use this bit of stock. I'm going to drill a hole through its end in order to give it a little bit of a T handle, like good Chuck keys. And then I'm going to mill down this end and give it a little bit of a square. Yeah. Um, that's what's about to happen. Hey everybody, it is the holiday season, which means it is the season for shopping and for sales. And our friends at iFixit have provided an opportunity to give a gift that is useful, meaningful, and might even inspire change. Seriously, iFixit tools are made at a high and exacting standard. They are beautiful and really useful. I keep a box here of iFixit tools, and every single time I have any kind of electronics to take apart, I pull that box down and it always supplies me with exactly what I need for the project. Seriously, I fix it all in one kids have everything you need to repair popular electronics, things like iPhones, MacBooks, and they include step-by-step -step repair guides for every kit. In particular, iFixit offers an essential repair bundle, which includes their most popular opening tools, a precise cleaning kit, and an electronics cleaning bundle. This is the kit, and it's a great addition to the shop. The great news is that for Black Friday and Cyber Week only, iFixit bundles and toolkits will be 20% off in the US, Canada, and Australia. In addition, if you're in the United States, iFixit is offering discounts up to 75% off of the products in its sale collection, plus free standard domestic shipping on all orders over $80 with the code FREESHIP. Seriously, if you are a maker or you are shopping for one, you can't go wrong with these kits. I have given away many iFixit bundles as gifts and I am still being thanked for them. So check it out. Go to ifixit.com slash tested and have a great and productive holiday, everyone. Oh, all right. Three eighths, three one, two five. So we're gonna... Now I'm going to turn that into a square. How I will do that is I will use this um, 
basically I'm gonna chuck this. Here, can you see that? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna chuck this into this ER32 collet holder, and then I'm gonna put that in the mill four ways and make a, to create a square. But first I gotta lock it in here. There we go. There is my tool in its fixture. There's my tool in its fixture. To the lathe, boy wonder. Sorry, to the mill. To the mill. Let's try that. All right. Well, it looks like we have fitment. Come on. There we go. That works. Yeah, all right. Now I just need to drill a, yeah, another hole in this and soften it up and we'll be good to go. All right. Uh, I think I have almost everything I need. So here is the body of my new chuck key. And here is the handle. I'm gonna try something interesting here. I've put a little notch in the handle here. I'm gonna put this in here and then I'm going to give a little boonk right there and see if I can't hold that there. Also with a little Loctite, let's do both. And then I have my little, yeah. So uh, first I'm gonna round this off on the, uh, 3M wheel. Okay. All right, a little mistake, but I'm back. So I uh, I turned down the outer shaft of my Chuck key. Um, my method uh, of using Loctite and a peen, fantastic. It was really hard to get this out. So I love that. I'm going to do it again. Yes. Okay. Could that be the smallest tool I have built in my lifespan? Let us, sorry, let's do some reassembly and some cleaning. So, put everything over here. And bring everything back. So here's what we've got, we've got four nuts. We've got four screws. We've got backing plate. We've got the DAWs. Okay, so now, let's see here. I want to pull out number one and make sure that it is actually labeled number one. Just because I like the parts to have some symmetry to them. Yep, that's number one. They're marked on the sides. Four is four. Great. Okay, cool. So we're going to pull all these out. Oh, 
This looks like, um, I don't know. No, it's not homemade. I know that it's not homemade, but it almost feels homemade. I'm so happy. This is beautiful. This is a terrific addition to my watchmaker's lathe uh, fixings. I managed to get all four jaws to move uh, nice and smoothly. I'm very pleased with how, uh, how well this turns and it cleaned up really nicely. It looks really good. Uh, plus this all worked out really with some high concentricity. Uh, yeah, a lot of your watch stuff happens at very high RPMs, and so concentricity is really important. Um, I don't think I have anything else to add. Oh, yeah, and the smallest duel. Mm, I'm so happy with this little duel, dude. Um, I'm just beaming because it's nice to be able to make stuff. Um, when I look at something like this and think that I improved it, I'm very, very, very pleased. Uh, thank you guys for joining me for this. Okay, I'll get back to the dovetails. Actually, I think there's some brass work before the day is done. See you next time. Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, 
but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick, my measuring forearm, uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol, and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body, because I use mine every single day.